Oh, my hearties, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we're live on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Doo. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you all with us. And um, I hope you're ready to come and join us and we can chit chat. So there you are. Remember to tell everybody, tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you. Dinky doo. The wonderful Craig Gallagher's watching. Thomas Drake Horn, Alan McGee. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dinky doo, great guy. Says the wonderful Brian Hall. Mark Finley watching. Craig Walker says hello, Dinky doo. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, Scotty McClure, says Alan. Good evening, Alan McGee. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky doo to you and all the other top people that are coming to join us tonight. We'll have a wonderful wonderful live stream and uh, I've just been on hello Scotty says Craig Gallagher hello Craig welcome 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 um, I've just been live on YouTube tremendous stuff so a great stream on YouTube a little bit of uh, Errol Grey tea still left oh, so we're going to enjoy that alright Scotty mind and say stay two metres back oh yes we're back we're fine we're distancing we're social distancing on here. Uh, Connor Wells, thank you, dear. lovely to have you with us. Brian Kizik's watching. Scotty, the coronavirus is turning people into contestants in supermarket sweep, says Robert Kerr. Uh, Ken Kevin is with us. Bob's with us. Danny Joe, thank you, dear. Gordon Hadley, welcome, 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 I say. Wonderful David Steele's watching. Ian Kerr, Alan Maitland. How fabulous to have you all with me live. Uh, on this broadcast, wonderful John Jones. Hello, mate, says Alan Maitland. Hello, hello, Alan. Mark Kelsey, George Clark, Carmick McCusker. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wonderful Gordon Roddick. Hi, Scotty. Hope you're well. Very well, Gordon. Excellent stuff, but we're all isolating ourselves now. Uh, hello again, Scotty. This is David Russell, Andy Simpson. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. When does the social distancing end? My wife keeps trying to get into the house, says John O'Rourke. Uh, no panic buying. No, and I've done a TikTok to that effect. For those of you that are on TikTok, at Scotty McClure, Graham Stewart, Dinky Doo, Kareem Zachariah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, Kareem, remember, I have my trusty Skype with me. If you fancy a wee chat, at some point we can do that. What time is the radio show tonight, says Mark Kelsey. Uh, no radio show at the moment, Mark. They've got love songs on instead of Scotty McClure. My goodness me, have you ever heard the like? So there we are. Hello, pal. Hope you and the family stay safe, says the lovely Thomas Hamilton. Kareem says, hey, Scotty, please stay safe. You too, Kareem. Now, guys, I need to talk to you. <coughs> Don't worry about the cough. I've just done an hour's broadcast, and I've had the cough for 20 years. So don't panic about that. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so there you go, Kareem. We might uh, look at some Skyping. Um, I'm going to get that. That's just firing up just now, and we'll see what is what. I also wanted to talk to all of you. There's the lovely Susan Forrest in Lancashire, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Um, what we might do is during the uh, isolation period for the coronavirus, you might light some extra live streams during the day. Uh, panic buyers are idiots. The elderly and nurses can't get what they shop for. Ridiculous, says Robert Kerr. Robert, did you see the nurse that had come off a 48-hour shift? And uh, the poor soul was in floods because she couldn't even get any fruit or vegetables or anything. So there we go. So two of everything and then that's it. What's your take on the people of the west of Scotland not taking the virus seriously enough, says Mark? Uh, people who are not locking down. Uh, no time for it, Mark. Uh, you know, I need these people to be getting themselves seriously sorted out. You know, we need to take it very, very seriously indeed. Can you sing me a love song, Scotty? It's a Rab Hill. Ah, oh, Rab. I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Um, Christopher Dinky, dear. Chris O'Neill. 
Uh, yes, Scotty, I'll set up. Good, Kareem. Then we can get a wee bit of chat on the Skype. Uh, Kathleen Buns is watching. Welcome, welcome. Just a love, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent. Now, I hope you're all well. Uh, Scotty, I did. It's sad. A very greedy society, indeed. Very, very greedy, indeed. Single dad can't get what I need to feed my son, says Brian Hall. Thank you, dear Scotty McClure. Hope you and the family are healthy. I was at the coast yesterday. Lovely day. A bit of sea air, says Danny. Yes, absolutely, Danny. Scotty, are you doing afternoon slots? Well, John Jones, I need to speak to you all about that. Because there's only a point in me doing that if it suits you guys. Do you see where I'm coming from? Do you see what I just did there? All right, but if it suits you guys, I'm quite happy to have update chats and do a bit of live streaming during all this. Mark Jippert, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. But um, you need to tell me what times would suit you. In the south side in Shollands, it's like a ghost town, says David Russell. I know, David. Stephen Menzies is watching Dinky Doo. God bless the NHS. Two kisses from the lovely Rab Hill. Have you benefited from the NHS yourself, Rab? Just seen that, um, any names a very famous burger lot are closing down, says Gary. Um, Connect Van has got to stop people that need shopping. There's nothing left in the shops. They're inconsiderate, says Rob. John R. Jackson, can you give a big shout out to my dad, who I love very much? He's sitting beside me, listening to you. Mr. Jackson, from the whole international world, and from me, Scotty McClue, dinky do to you. Thank you for being you. There you are. There's a wee shout out to Mr. Jackson. El Salvador Stallione Saviour. Scotty, are we Skyping today? Yes. We probably are, El Salvador, eh? I'm not set up yet. Gordon Roddick's watching Dinky Doo, Gordon. I've just done uh, 50 minutes in YouTube. Are you self-isolating, Scotty? Well, I'm being very careful, John. Uh, so there you are. I think I'll have a few bits of steak and chips, um, and then that gets me up to, um, you know, a higher BMI, that sort of idea. A uh, lost village is still inundated with tourists and glass regions. What are they thinking? Yes, stay away from the little highland villages, guys, because if you give the locals the coronavirus, which you may or may not have, then um, they don't have access to the same hospitals and doctors, medical practices that you have in the city. So there we are. Hi from Scarborough. Says Rob Randall. Dinky do, Rob. Are you self-isolating, says George Ryan? Well, I'm being very careful. I'm staying in a lot and doing a lot of work on the house. Tidying it up, mainly. And uh, Pike Man, Dinky do. What happened the other night is some old uh, brutal brackets on the curtain gave way and down came the curtain. So the curtain went into the wash. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Now then, who have I got here? There we go. I'm uh, wondering, guys, I'm just going to uh, see if we can get the Skype fired up at some point, and then we'll take some trusted Skypers. How are we, Scotty? Says Pike Man Paul. Pike Man Paul Dinky Doo. Sad time, Scotty. Cheer us all up, says the wonderful Christopher Love. I will do my best. Christopher, back to work tomorrow, HGV driver delivering to co-ops, uh, up at Inverness, Edmund Ford, Dinky Doo, we thank you for all your hard work and your driving. Neil O'Gormley's watching down in Bournemouth, am I right, Neil? Neil, juicy near a place called Sandbanks. The wonderful Nikki Harvey winning is watching Dinky Doo, Nikki. Lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10. Brian Murray is watching Robert T. Kerr. What about women filling trolleys and baskets with baby formula? <coughs> Pardon me. Our baby is going to survive this pandemic. 
we ask. Hi, do you think we should go on lockdown? I do, says Brian Murray. What do you think, guys? Should we be locking down? Now, just doing a little bit of connecting here. Oh, wonderful stuff. It's saying it can't get a net network connection. We'll try it again. I don't know why it can't get a network connection, because we've definitely got one, or we wouldn't be on the internet. There we are. I'll put this in and see if this gets it. Ah, look. Oh, there we are. Everybody very excited now. Um, yes, what about the lockdown, guys? Would you rather go on lockdown? East Kilbride Shopping Centre, like a ghost town today, says Robert T. Kerr. Was there plenty on the shelves, Rab? Do let us know what you think. Ah, there we are. A eh, wee problem with the Skype there. That's interesting. Doesn't seem to be wanting to connect. We'll try that. Right. We'll pop that on. See how it goes. Leave it there. See if it'll connect up. Excellent stuff. Andrew Wilson's watching. And uh, Dinky Do and uh, Traffic Jams. Queues. Queues of people. At the local supermarket. Here says Brian Hall. Roughly, where are you, Brian? Derek Walker, Dinky Do. The wonderful Alistair King's watching. Any time for your show, we do, Scotty. Most of us are unemployed and stuck indoors. For the near future, says Mark. I know, Mark, it's very tough out there. But, uh, guys, I'm thinking and um, treating you all. Um, treating you all to some extra live streams during the coronavirus. But you need to tell me when would suit you. And we can all get together and get chatting. I'll build up a trusted list for the Skype. And you can come on and talk to me. Uh, I'm hoping the closure of that well-known burger chain means some of the youth will finally see how serious this virus is. I know what you mean, Gary. Nick Kershaw, dinky-doo. Alistair King, dinky-doo, Scotty. Good evening, good evening, Alistair. Pat Simpson's watching. Can you say hello to all my colleagues in the real industry, says the fabulous Stephen Menzies. They're working around the clock to keep freight trains moving, to keep the shelves of Scotland stopped. I'd heard, yes, the freight trains. Bonemouth says hello. Neil, how far are you from Sandbanks? Kenny Gray is watching Dinky Doo. Hi, Scotty, couldn't get through on the Skype. No, we've got a problem. It's telling me that it can't get onto the Wi Fi. Signal strength, excellent. So there you are. So that's fine. So the Wi-Fi is fine. So I don't know what the problem actually is with that. No. There's something very strange about that. I've got it setting here. Sorry, guys. Uh, just getting that set up. David Tonner's watching Dinky Doo. Stephen Mooney. Okay, mate. I've got some suggestions for you. Would like your intake, says El Salvador. Good stuff. Uh, Elizabeth Cook Gibbon says, Hi, Scotty. And two lovely kisses. Mwah. Hi, Elizabeth Dinky Doo. David Mortimer's watching. Kareem turns on when he's ready. Uh, do you think curfews might happen, says Brian Hall. Brian, anything can happen. I'm trying to show the updates from the government as watch parties on the Facebook page here. Going to stay in for a week on Tuesday. Good news from uh, Primark for us. There we are. Um, closing tonight for us husbands. Closing. Dinky doors, wee chap. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Have you been self-isolating and washing your hands? Oh, my hands. Look at them. You couldn't get cleaner than that. Look how short the nails are. See? There you are. Hi, Gina. It's very finest. Uh, hi, Gina. And hi, everyone else. Good morning, Scotty from Australia. Dinky do, says the wonderful Erica Meyer. Uh, how are you this evening, Scotty? Says Alistair King. Fantastic, Alistair. And Dinky do. Where can I listen to you regular? 
Well, Keith Gore, what we've got, there's a lot on the YouTube channel, Scotty McClure YouTube channel. There's a lot of live streaming done there. And um, also, if you can all subscribe to the YouTube channel, and what you'll find on there is 700 Scotty McClure videos and audio for your education, edification, entertainment, and delight. So worrying, we need to lock down to control it. People won't listen. Well, I think when the sun comes out, people aren't very good with reading the psychology of themselves. So they think, oh, lovely day, let's go out. And uh, of course, naturally in spring, people start going out a lot more because the weather's better. But we can't because there's a virus that could clobber us all. So there you go. Faster we're going to lock down, the faster it will pass, says Danny Joe. Fair point. Is everybody up for total lockdown? How do you get your food, though, if we're on total lockdown? Um, Eric Amar, Dinky do what's happening? How are you coping with the virus? Very good. Um, a lot of people are sticking by the rules, Erica. One or two idiots not. How are things out in Oz? What stage are you at there? A walk in the park for me, lockdown, says El Salvador. Yeah, but how'd you get your food? Scotty McClure bulletins, says El Salvador. Well, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, busier here than Tesco's, says Keith Gore. My dad loved you on the radio. The banter was unreal, says Kathleen Barnes. That's fantastic, Kathleen. We hopefully will get it back. It only takes one switched on programmer. But I write to the broadcast organizations, radio stations, and uh, they go, yes, yes. Mm. Now, there's nothing. It's a no-brainer. Scotty McClure brings you a massive audience. Scotty McClure is known throughout the universe. Everybody knows Scotty McClure. It brings listeners to the radio. What's the problem? But they go, yes. I think it, I said to a guy in um, commercial television, do you fancy trying this out? He went, I think it's got to be a no, Scotty. It's got to be a no. But he never said why. Do you see what I mean? Now, I find that very, very strange uh, because Scotty McClure is probably one of the most popular broadcasters in the world. So, But we'll see. It takes one switched on person. And then off we go. Uh, definitely locked down, says the wonderful Susan Forrest. Alistair King says, was away fishing today, Scotty. Got three lovely trout. What a cracker of a day. Well, I don't think there'll be many people up in the rivers there. Um, you should do every day, Scotty, as the Thomas Hamilton. What time, Thomas? That's what we need to know. David Distance watching. El Salvador says, restart the tablet and the phone. Do you think so? Let me see. Okay. I'm going to take your advice, Sal Stallione. Uh, Skype, um, no, it doesn't, John. No, no. Um, so it might be overloaded with people using it, says Kareem. It might be Kareem, absolutely, yes. Uh, Kelvin Allen, dinky-doo. Craig, dinky-doo. Dinky-doo. Do you think it was a lab that let the virus out because the Chinese people have been eating animals? Is the government trying to hide something? Well, I don't know that our government will be trying to hide something, but a government may well be trying to hide something. And um, somebody was even hinting that another government gave it to China. Uh, yes, we should be in lockdown to many daft folk out there that are not listening to the advice. Can't believe these fools, says Pike Man Paul. Paul Mac, hi Scotty, just joined in. Please keep doing the Facebook Live. We need your entertainment over the next few weeks. Yes, but do you want one during the day? And um, what do you want and when? I must do some sharing. Can everybody share? If you're watching right now, share. There we are. I'm going to share. And I'm going to share with the... Uh, here we go. <coughs> As I say, don't be fooled by the cough. I've had it for 20 years. So nothing new there. Too much broadcasting. I'm just over from an hour's show on uh, YouTube. Oh, wonderful. Right, let's get sharing. Here we go.
share now to the public. Right, so we've shared that. That's gone out there. Big bit of sharing going on there, guys. Wonderful stuff. Les McBride's watching Dinkiner. I hope everyone's coping okay. You've got to take care, everyone and all, says the wonderful Erica Mayer in Australia. Derek Walker, Dinkiner. Be a shop for youngsters to get a proper meal. People are panic buying booze now. Brian, this would be a good chance to give up the booze. Excellent. Dinky do, do you think it was a lad that a lab that a lad that let the virus out? I think it was a lad. There we are. Chinese people. Nothing like this. Don't know. Uh, John McConaughey is watching. No lockdown will bring extended lockdown, but not for me, says El Salvador. Well, El Salvador, did you not say you had been locked down? Five minute drive from Sandbanks, says Neil O'Gormley. And tell me, Neil, is Sandbanks a swish? As it's said, um, yes, Craig, we got your message. I don't know if you're repeating the same message. We got it. Nino Verico says, hello, Scotty. Hello, Nino. I hope you're well, sir. Uh, Scotty, you got some respiratory masks. Don't see anyone else wearing them. It only takes one cough to infect a lot of people. Would you wear one in supermarkets? Well, Paul, I don't go to supermarkets now. There we are occasionally, very occasionally. Uh, Kathleen says, Scotty McLean was the best voice on the radio. Never met anyone who doesn't like you. And your catchphrase, dinky do. Thank you, Kathleen Buns. How very kind of you. Glad to see you're looking well, my friend, says Nino. Absolutely, Nino, and I hope you are too. They are saying even if we lock down, eventually we go back, the virus could start up again, need a cure. Just slowing the numbers down, but I agree. Total lockdown. So there we are. Is everybody up for lockdown? Uh, 12 to 2 and 6 to 10, says Thomas Hamilton. <laughs> right, Thomas. Any, any reason for these times? Guys, this is for Scotty McClure, my good self broadcasting, live streaming on Facebook to every single one of you. Do you want one during the day? And if so, when? All right, have we got that? Right, uh, more sharing. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Right, I'm going to share to a page. So I'll share to the big Scotty McClure page. And if you can all do the same, everybody share right now and come on and tell me you've done it right there we are share to our page you manage dinky do wonderful right just in a minute sharing guys so we'll go to that one excellent and that's going out now so you should be able to see that come up on your facebook page uh, Thomas Hamilton thinks Scotty McClure should broadcast between 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock and then 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Hope you're well, fella. Nobody wants a lockdown. But please do tell the idiots that go out a run to the coast when they should be staying at home as those are the ones who will make a lockdown a... Uh... Hang on, more... Assert, and the first to complain about it. Yes, yes, indeed, Tony. Very good. Like your comment there. Give you a love there. Fantastic. So there you are. Excellent stuff, right? Tommy's comments got a love. Share pulses, Thomas. Excellent, Thomas. Thank you very much. Everybody sharing. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Alice King says, how about we tune? To lighten the mood, Scotty, everyone needs to keep a level head during this time. Panic buyers need to grow up and calm down. Right, excuse me a second. We'll uh, see what's ha happening here. I'll uh, just have a quick comfort break. Roasting in the studio. Excellent. Ha! There you are, Gordon Robertson's watching Dinky Do. 
It's different bio-warfare. Check out uh, 201 event, a global hypothetical event was held on October the 18th last year. There were some very powerful people. Wow. Do you not think, though, if there was very powerful people in the world, Scotty McClure would be on the panel? Well, there we are. Yes, great, thanks. Sandbanks is a fabulous place. Great wee coffee shop there, too. I think you're thinking of Sandbank, Nino, near to Kim and Danoon. This is Sandbanks in Bournemouth. Am I right? People panic buying are not helping. Scotty, you need to do your nightline, but have breaks, says El Salvador. Lockdown to save the vulnerable, says Peter Lockwood. Excellent. My dad remembers you told a person called Mr. Martin. And he said he didn't like your show and you told him what for. You gave him what for. It was very funny. We heard you on YouTube. Huge respect to you, Scotty, says David Russell. Kareem, Scotty McClure, a prayer to the thousands who have lost their life to this terrible virus. Kareem, do you think this will get people turning back to God? So there you are. So everyone can get time to tune in, pal, says Thomas. Yes, Thomas. Scotty, I think you're doing one in the afternoon and one in the evening would be a great idea, says David Steele. What about one in the morning, David? No? Key worker, here for a rest. No rest for the wicked, says Robert Edwards. Bless you, Robert. Thank you for everything you're doing. Madness in the Northwest, says Brian Hall. You're better dressed tonight, Scotty. Am I not always well dressed? I ask you, Gordon Robertson. And uh, what are they all doing with the toilet paper? Well, Nino, I think probably that's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, they never bought it before. Well, I think they're just in a panic in case they run out. Uh, he's putting his good teeth in, says Gordon. All my own? Fantastic. I'll take them out. Ah, not a tooth in my head. See? No teeth. That's what it's all about. Right. Uh, I think it's a training drill, says El Salvador. What for, El Salvador? Darren Jackson's watching. Yes, that's where I'm talking about. So they are Vito the Dog comes from Bournemouth. I apologize, Nino. Um, it's when you said uh, Sandbank. I thought you meant Sandbank in Danoon. So my sincere apologies. Well done. There we are. Just checking. Just seeing you're on the ball there. Uh, Scotty, can you explain why everyone is obsessed with toilet roll? Well, I suppose people just get obsessed with that part of their anatomy. Scotty, do you think we're going to get one on Skype? Let me check again. You've just reminded me. I'll have to get it to fire up again. Because somebody, was it you, suggested we switch off and on again. Great piece of computer engineering. I think you'll have to run the extra steam time past Mrs. McClue, Scotty. We don't want you getting into trouble, says the wonderful Alistair King. I'll check with her now, Alistair. Darling, the wonderful Alistair King wants to know if you'd be all right with me doing the odd live stream during the day. Oh, yes. No, no. I'll tell him you're asking for him. She's in the kitchen making tablet, Alistair. So there we are. She says that should be all right as long as it's not too much. So there we go. Wonderful. We don't want to get into trouble. Good evening, Mr. McClue. And I mean, we don't want to get Mrs. McClue into trouble either. Hi, Scotty. This is Eileen Cunliffe. Dinky do, Eileen. Lovely to have you back with us. Welcome. What is the time? My goodness me, time flies when you're having fun. Right. This is fired up again, guys. I'll just check what stage we're at. See if we can get into that. That's fine. Good. Uh, and because uh, sometimes tablets and things can misbehave. Alistair Bajak's watching Dinky Doo. Keep me some, says Alistair King. I will, Alistair, yes. We'll hopefully see you at some point. Hi, says Scott Mackay. Oh, hi, Scott Mackay. Lovely to have you with us. Great banter this afternoon, by the way, on the Facebook page. Right, more sharing. 
Come on. Off you all jolly well go. More sharing for Scotty McClure. Excellent. Right. Where are we sharing now? Um, are we sharing to a group? Or are we just sharing in general? There's a general share. What does that bring up? Fantastic. Can you all do the same thing? Uh, good evening. I would enjoy a morning session. We could have a good debate in the overnight goings on. Well, you know, I remember with Scott FM, this is the radio right enough, probably slightly different, because people could get it on their cars. But I remember with Scott FM, and when I used to do the night line, I had a massive, massive audience at night. And, uh, oh, can't remember, 150,000, something like that, per half hour to one program. So what we used to do is somebody said, I think we're going to put you on in the mornings. And people went, oh, for goodness sake, that'll never work in the mornings. Did the audience not double in the mornings? And then the other stations were in such a panic so they are, because it was devastating their business. Oh, dear. So that's one reason that radio stations don't all rush to get Scotty McClure, because it's very, very hot radio property, and it will put the nose of other stations well out of joint. And then the station has to cope with the flack for that. Do you see what I mean? Scotty, let's get a show with yourself and Mrs. McClure. She can teach us the secret ingredients of, to McClure's pies. We can never, ever give away the secrets of McClure's pies. Oh, no. I think lockdown will be one day this week for sure, Scotty McClure. Yes, possibility. I'm just seeing what we've got here, guys. Share in a group. I'll share to a group. There we are. Sharing to a group, guys. We'll see what comes up here. Right, that's fine. Okay. Uh, group name. Let's just see what's going about here. See what comes up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, just having a look. Okay. Let's get it off to this one. And I'll just put live now. Uh, let everybody know what's going on. Can you all do the same, guys? Do some sharing. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Live now. Okay. Okay. There we are. That's going out live now, and that's off to uh, Facebook video. Just to let everybody know that we're on. Big thumbs up in the corner there, Brian. We thank you. Fantastic stuff. Love all that. Uh, there must be ways to bring you all on here. Oh, my goodness. We've got Skype coming up. Let's see what's happened. Wonderful, wonderful. And I'll see if it's working now. Oh, it's always touch and go, isn't it? Touch and go, I say. Right, it's asking me to sign in now. We switched it on and off again. Wonderful bit of engineering. And... Uh, it's asking me for a sign-in, so I'll just do that. Wonderful. Right. Okay. And uh, it's asking me for this. Two seconds. Bear with me, everybody. They're so tiny, these things, for your fingers. There we are. Right, that should do that. Now, let's see what this does. Signing in. What does it bring up? Skype, guys. We're looking for Skype here. Yay, bingo! Right, it would appear that we are in business with Skype. Okay, so all I need to do is check that. Right, that's that. Did you hear it there? Did you hear everything connect? Um, oh. Karim. Good evening. How lovely to hear you. This is fantastic. How are we? 
I'm fine, thank you. And yourself, Scotty? Great, great. Are you enjoying the live stream? Yes, I'm enjoying it. I'm watching it. I thought, obviously, I'm not because I'm on it, but yes, yes, I've been enjoying it. It's good. It's excellent stuff. And uh, somebody's asking here, Kareem, Scotty, are you still going out or are you over 70 and doing the 12 week solitary confinement? Oh, goodness. Right. Right. I mean, I'm, um, I'm 82, for goodness sake, you know? Really? No, no, no not really. I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but uh, what's happening, Kareem? I mean, everything the the schools are uh, are all off, I believe. Well, I Glasgow City Council, and they have been so supportive One. to staff and children. Um, it's only the vulnerable children to attend, uh -huh. and any teachers that want to volunteer to come in and to assist with that can do that. Uh, Monday onwards. Excellent. However, I know things will change if there's a complete lockdown, so I, I would wait and see what happens. Now, tell me this, Kareem, a complete lockdown, does that mean nobody can go out to the shops? As far as I know, I think certain countries like how Italy are doing it, etc. Right, right. So you'd be able to go out to the shops, but only at certain times. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but I know there'll be a lot stricter uh, with, with people going out. There's like, for example, Spain, you can get fined if they, the police catch you out uh -huh. without valid reasons. Yes, yes. Very, very interesting, the whole setup. And um, what do you personally think about it? Do you think it'll last forever in a day, or do you think, um, you know, we'll get to an, an, an end? <laughs> If people take it serious, which um, I think they have been taken, I know there's always the idiots, Scotty, out there that will be last minute, but I think we've been doing a lot better if you look at our neighbours down in England. Mm -hmm. they, you know, I don't think they're taking it as serious as yet. I am hoping, I don't know if you've seen it on Facebook, there's a lot of statistics going about in terms of the number of people catching the, this terrible virus and actually passing away and at the moment we're at the early stages we're in par with Italy uh, right. with the, the amount of people start sadly to lose a life however it will depend how we look at the situation how this community is act it could go back out if we are going to do that losing, yeah, the UK losing the UK so the UK on par, so I think we have to take it serious or we can get as bad as Italy. Oh yes, which, no, 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 we yeah. must, we must take it seriously because Italy, uh, I was seeing the other day, they were just having hearses going up to old folks' homes and, you know, yeah. driving straight to the crematorium and things like that. So, yeah. so it's what's going to well, uh, what's coming out of Italy just now is that they, at first, they were telling everybody it was elderly folk and vulnerable. However, they're now having a lot of cases where it's young, uh, healthy people. Yes. So it's something to look out because I think that, that that's that's really scary. If this is this evolving, it's like antibiotics, it might be not work now. Is this thing finding a way? Yes, absolutely. Now, Kareem, um, fine, I'll not keep you too long, but I'm always very interested. There's a lot of talk of Scotty McClure doing extra live streams during the period. Uh, do you think that's advisable? I think it's definitely, and I think as you go into complete lockdown, there'll be a lot of people stuck in the house, poor Scotty, and I enjoy listening to you, I like watching you on Facebook, and you do put a smile, and I'm sure you do that to everyone who's watching and listening now, so yeah, I, I would say go for it, and it will definitely cheer everybody up. Well, it's very kind of you to say so, but that's what I'd like to do, we just provide a bit of company, and if we can get a trusted list for the Skype, um, you know, mm -hmm. get, get people willing to just uh, come on and have a chit chat. And I think that's it's always good just to listen to just ordinary folk. You know, I mean, that's yeah. that's what's yeah. lacking in the media at the moment um, is that yes. we're, we're not getting enough of what do the people think. It's all very well, all yeah. the pundits, the politicians, the broadcasters, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. But I'm looking mm -hmm. for what the people are thinking how the people are feeling, what they're doing, 
you know, um, about things, how everything's getting on for the people. And it's something mm. that should be encouraged by the government. You know, a, a switched on <laughs> person should be putting my good self onto national radio at the moment with a phone in mm. facility so we can talk to the yeah. people because it would give officialdom an idea of what's actually going on. Absolutely. And it's the best way. Um, and I really enjoyed when you were on. Radio. I was a young boy when you were on Scott FM. So you were just uh, just a wee laddie. Hello, hello. You were just a wee laddie so on I, Scott I, FM. Don't you like you? Don't you like you? Bad when you wish you. All right, Kareem. Scott, many yeah. blessings. Take care. Bye bye now. Yeah, bye bye, Kareem. Yeah. So there we are, losing Kareem a little bit at the end, but excellent stuff there, and great to have him on. Right, what have we got? What have you lot been saying while I've been chatting to Kareem? Alphonse in Scotland says El Salvador. Hang on. El Salvador, is this your idea of phoning soon? <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me, I can, la. How are you doing, mate? I'm dinky do. How are you enjoying the live stream? Oh, I, lo I love the Facebook one well, more, Scotty, because you have that interaction more with the uh, with the people than on YouTube. It's more people writing. Absolutely right. Well, yeah, YouTube at the moment is just an experiment to see how it goes, but there's a lot of young people on, which is great, but some of them are just being silly. Yeah, yeah you get it more on YouTube, because what happens is, Scotty, as soon as you fire up a YouTube live stream, it'll send like recommendations out, so people just stupid trolling will click it and jump on and be silly. You yeah. get it a lot, that's good. So there's a lot of that, isn't there? I mean, that's fairly par for the course. It's not just me. Not just you, mate. It's in all walks of life, whether you came in, doing paranormal shows, live, whatever. It happens, mate. We always get the dafties, so there we go. But we'll work through it as well, you know, because I think it's quite good to have a YouTube presence and a Facebook presence, you know? Well, you should be on multiple platforms to grow. Absolutely. And, um, but you know, the, that bad. Scott, I think, Scott, I think, mate, I think you're putting your energy uh, too much in at one time. Uh -huh. I'd like to see you do, I'd like, if it personally, I'd like to see you do YouTube a few hours before your Facebook. Right, right. So we're doing, so the fact I went on YouTube at 8 o'clock till 9 and then Facebook 9 until 10, you think it's a bit too much? Yeah, I think you should invest, I personally, I think you should invest two hours on the Facebook and maybe an hour on the YouTube right. somewhere in between. Sorry. Now, what do you think about uh, live streaming during the day at the moment? I think it's good, mate, because, um, it's keeping everyone who's, who's in lockdown, some people can't get out. It's keeping people who aren't getting all these links like you are. You're getting the same links as me. You know, it's, just, it's just like a Scotty McLean bulletin during lockdown. It's quite fun, mate. Joining up. Now, when do you think would be a good time? Because you're very skilled in all this. Uh, it's a tricky one. A lot of people say do like a breakfast show, don't they? Uh, it's a tricky one, really, Scotty. I mean... Maybe 10. Uh, I'd say 8 o'clock is too early. I know somebody was trying to eight, 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 around with that time. Is 8 o'clock a bit early 10. for a Facebook Live, do you think? Yeah, I'd say about 10 a.m. 10 a.m. You, you just can't... You're just catching people making a cup of tea there. Yeah. yeah. So maybe something like 10 till 11. Yeah, I think good time. We, we, might, we might try it tomorrow and just do a bit because... What I love about broadcasting online, streaming online, there's, there's, there's no pressure. If something doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. No. Do you feel more pressure on the radio? We've not been doing it years. Well, I, I, well, you see, I don't feel any pressure now. I know I should do, but television mm. and radio is just meat and drink to me. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've been doing yeah. live commercial television. I was with four ITV companies, and I've been doing it for 36 years. Yeah, so it's nothing, you get, you get past the nerves. You know, and I, I, I remember when I was about to read the news on my first ITV station, and um, I said to the director, we were just waiting for the national news to finish, and then the local news was coming in and I was reading it. And we used to have yeah. a bit of banter back and forward with what they call the gallery. 
you know, um, right. while they were sorting out all the news stories and there'd be a bit chat and they would say, yeah, Scotty, can you just, you've got a hair sticking out of your ear there, can you just tidy that up? And they would come out with this sort of chat, you know what I mean? And you look a bit banned yeah. up, your tie's very nice, all that sort of chat, they would come out with all this. And um, I remember commenting on one of the ITN newscasters and I said, it's mm. my ambition to be like him because this guy was just so chilled, you know, and he would finish yeah. up and go, well, that's it for today. Join us tomorrow and for updates during the day. And I thought, he is so relaxed. He's talking to the whole country and he was just so mm. relaxed. And the director said, yeah, well, he's been at it a long time. And now, well, that's an experience and it's going well, this is it. You know, and now it's so funny because I'm the one that's been at it a long time. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, so, well, Scotty, yeah. Scotty, you've got the voice for radio. There's something special. There's a the saying that you've got to have a voice for radio, things like that. Even commentary like football, you've got to have a certain voice for it or it doesn't work. Yes, yes, and you think just the radio works. No, 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 I'm not just saying that, but I'm saying that there's some people with a certain voice that grip you through audio, and then there's some people who send you to sleep. So I think you've got that voice, whether you do it through radio, For the radio or, or yeah. just... You know, get with the time, Scotty, because to be honest, I think the radio's... Uh, it's probably died a death a long time ago. There's not many really tune into the radio as much as people no. tune into the internet. Well, the thing is that something like tonight's broadcast, they can get that on their phone. So they can be sitting exactly. on a bus watching right now, do you know what I mean? And they can always watch back as well, watch parties or, yeah. you know, no need to record it because it's there. So say, for instance, I wanted to listen back on this chat. I was recording it. When we used to speak on the radio, I used to record it on a recorder. Oh, fantastic. I don't need to do that. And you can yeah. listen back. I'll tell you what's really, really funny. Um, when yeah. I do a watch party and people go, is this live? And I think it was, I'm not sure if it was you or somebody else that actually said, yeah. if it's live, it will say live at the top. If it's not, it That's won't. It. <laughs> I, think what it is, yeah, I think what it is, Scotty, people want you in the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't think the watch party, but then again, you, you said it perfectly. Well, what about the people that have missed it? If somebody's missed it, well, when somebody goes, why are we having this again? I saw this the other night. You said, yes, you did, but a lot of people didn't. And it's funny, that mm. kind of mentality. That's what we're getting with the panic buyers. I've not got yeah, okay. toilet roll. And you think, yeah, but has the old lady next door got some? Yeah, but it's, quite, it's all about me, 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 and that. That goes through anything. You know. Whether it's money, you know what I mean? Toilet rolls, it doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't, I matter, have does it. It. doesn't matter what it is. Listen, lad, I'm going to have to dash, but lovely talking to us ever. Scotty, before you go, we've yep. got some fun anything in this corona. Oh, yes, right, we forgot the coronavirus. How good's that got, for the media? Chuck, this one, because we've got a few philosophies. Go on, bad. go on. One of them, one of them was talking to me, Dad, and you know what? I thought that's quite me. My dad normally argue we don't agree on anything. Right. But that's uh, what that's what dads are for. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> he said he thinks this this has happened because there's no money in circulation. So I said, Well, what do you mean? He said, Well, how many times have you gone in this shop, shopping centres and the renter? So yeah. I said, Right, so what are you trying to say? He said, What about if this has all been caused to get people panic buying? and putting money back in circulation because you have to crash the economy for it to restart again kind of thing. And I thought, that, that, that is, that's not a bad shout. Not, well, well not it there. might be not a bad shout, but there is definitely a virus. So it's not as if they're saying there's a virus mm -hmm. and there isn't because people are yeah. dying of it. So something's out there. Yeah, that's for sure. How it's got that's out me. there, that's another yeah. story. That's it. And so another one, Scott, I want to clear up this uh, animal eating and catching viruses. Right. Um, what happens is, because I, I, I found something years ago that was saying a certain bottle of drink was contaminated with HIV. Right. And I found out, someone who told me, it can't get in the bloodstream by drinking it and digesting it. So that doesn't matter if it's an animal that you eat raw or cooked. Also... When we eat a pig, we eat a pig, right? To someone else, that pig might be dirty and vermin. 
right? Right. Who's to, who's to say what's sacred and what's not and what you should eat and what you shouldn't? We all have different acquired taste. doesn't matter what you agree with and what you don't. Yeah. But getting to the point, Brian, you can't get contaminated by eating a rat, a bat, because what happens is you eat that animal, right? Before it gets in the bloodstream, it's gone in your stomach and your stomach acids burn any of that bad bacteria off, whether it's virus or anything else, mate. The only way you can get ill by an animal virus is by getting injected by the virus. And that's it, mate. Now, that can't possibly be true, because what about the likes of, uh, you know, listeria, uh, salmonella, all that sort of stuff? That, that, that's more like food poisoning, you know, it's something I learn and things like that, sorry. Yeah, but are they not viruses? Uh, I don't know if they, I'm on about more like, um, I don't know something that can be like, you can't get rid of it, chronic. Right, right, okay. Like an infectious, infectious disease. And last thing with Corona, Scotty, I don't really think they know what they're dealing with. Because they're referring to it, to so many names, so many things. One minute it's a virus, the next minute it's an infection. Can they just please make their mind up, Scotty? That's all I ask. Make their mind up and see what it is. Well, maybe they will once they all know. I'm sure there's quite a bit sure. of argy-bargy going on at the moment. I think there is, mate. I think um, when, we talk, when we touched on it the other day, and I said... I don't think they know what they're really dealing with or what, what's it. been let out, they're quite embarrassed. That's I think exactly. they this out. I don't think they know what they're dealing with. A few people are saying the same thing. They're, they're, they're testing, they're testing to find out what it is. What well, it actually and is. Hopefully, hopefully, the antibiotics are here, mate. And if it's to do with respiratory illness, I, I'm guessing, because of my illness, I'm not, I, I think for a fact the, the antibiotics are here, mate. I, I, hope, I hope to God, if we are dealing with something here, that the antibiotics are already here for it. Right, we shall find out a dinky doola. Thank you, do, Scott. Ta-da now. What a top man. Right, right. there he goes. Uh, that's uh, our Mr. Stellioni. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that. And a couple of great Skype calls there, guys. Very much appreciated if you've just joined me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live just for you. This is the big one. Um, there's talk of me broadcasting and live streaming uh, a bit more, but when would suit you do say? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Can we have another share, please? A massive, massive share so that everybody knows what is what. Can I have lots of thumbs up, lots of hearts, lots of sharing, blah, blah, blah. Um, Stephen Harvey, dinky do. Um, at least Italy has been sensible and not panic buying. Says Alistair King. Highly advisable, Scotty, says Robert. Uh, Hubert is watching. Not enough accurate information, says Robert. Uh, we need trusted guidance and knowledge at this hard time since the wars, says Peter Lockwood. Giuseppe Bacchetti is watching. Take my bonnet off to the NHS staff on the front line and uh, working in this difficult situation. Greatest respects, says the wonderful David Russell. Alistair says... I'm homeschooling my young son starting tomorrow. He thinks he's getting off with his schoolwork. Lol, not a chance. Excellent stuff. The mother of all talk shows is still on, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Giuseppe Bacchetti. I am the daddy of them all. Kareem says, Scotty McClure, could you ask people to send in lists of topics to discuss? Or you have a show, me music play, live in the in the morning. Well, uh, we can't play music, Kareem, because that would uh, involve copyrights and uh, performance fees. <coughs> Pardon me. Don't be fooled with the cough. I've had it for 20 years. Scotty, what are you doing? An educational live for the kids. What about doing? Yes. Uh, that's a thought, Alistair. What would you suggest? School with Scotty. Truck drivers, supermarket workers, food production, NHS, and all other essential workers. Respect, says Paul Mack. We all echo that, Paul. History and geography with Scotty McClue for the kids. You know your history and geography, Scotty. I do, Paul Mack. We shall look about that. Uh, there's Louis Faber, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Scott Grant's watching. Frank Crombie, Dinky Do. Evening, Scotty. Uh, when is the lockdown? 
Dinky do, says Frank Crombie. Ah, this is what we must find out. Live streaming more excellent 8 till 10 p.m. every day, says Paul Max. So nothing in the morning. David Steele says 10 till 11, Scotty McClure, would be perfect time. I was thinking about that, 10 o'clock through until 11 o'clock for a quick pop-up and get us all together. Craig Downey says, hello, Scotty. Really good to see you on a Facebook Live. I thank you, Craig, and dinky do. El Salvador, good question about the salmonella. Nearly threw me off there, Scotty. Not at all, El Salvador. You did very, very well. You're looking very smart, Scotty, says Craig Downey. I thank you, Craig. That's very, very kind of you. I've got on my best bonnet. Um, I just, I think just to help them understand the current situation and a wee bit of history would be good, says Alistair King. But do we do Scottish history or British history since 1815? The Great Reform Act of 1832? Do we going back to the 1500s? Do we do Mary Queen of Scots? Do we do uh, the Union of the Crowns? Do we do the Union of the Parliament, 1707? Do we do the Risings of 1715 and 1745? Bonnie Prince Charlie, James the Second, uh, the Catholics and the Protestants, all the British history there for you. How for that? What's the time? Oh my goodness! It's time I wasn't here. Radio history, yes. Scotty's School. There we go, Radio History. Scotty, you're very smart and kind. I love your work, says Craig. Dinky do, Craig. You're a top man. Shall we have a, shall we have a tune in the box, guys? Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Right. I'm going to have to dash. I'll have to sing you the goodbye song. Night, night, everybody. Scotty's a top man. And let you speak. Sing us out, Scotty. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zino revoir and a cheery o. Cheery o, my lass. And uh, check for the live streams. Make sure you've got your notifications set to tell me when Scotty McClure goes live. See you at 10, Scotty. I'll have my cup already. Night, Scotty McClure. Deep. Care and stay safe, says Kareem. Um, will you no come back again, says Frank Crumby. Frank, I just might. Dinky-doo.